My name is Melissa and I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. So I have struggled with alopecia areata for 11 years and I probably seven years ago I ventured into a wig shop and had a really not great experience and so just left and thought I'm not really ever going to look into wigs uh, for my hair loss and earlier this year I decided that I would um, try it again like go to a different wig shop and you know things have changed in the in the past couple years so maybe like things are a little more progressive so I went into a different wig shop and probably within the I just was asking some questions about sizes and some different things and the the lady that was helping me she was asking me questions about my hair loss and I told her that I you know I've had alopecia for quite some time and she said well she asked if I was married and I said yes and um, she said well it's did, did you meet your husband before or after like how long have you been married and I told her and she said oh wow it's such a good thing you met your husband before you lost all your hair and I was just in shock um, I didn't I didn't know what to say I just it was so shocking and then she proceeded to put a wig on me that uh, it looked like it was like straight out of Joe Dirt <laughs> and told me it looked beautiful and um, it was horrible and I left there very quickly and yes it was a very awkward experience. Oh, before this had happened, the second wig shop experience, I had started getting onto different social media sites on Instagram and just um, kind of connecting with women that are wearing alternative hair, that are, you know, wearing toppers and wigs. And I was asking questions and th they were just so kind and warm and welcoming. And so that's really truly the reason that I started considering. Um, looking into a different alternative for my hair loss because I've tried all sorts of things. I've tried different medications, I've tried uh, PRP injections in my head, I've tried steroid injections in my head. Um, I mean I've had huge areas of hair that I've you know totally missing at different times. Um, I've tried different serums, I mean I've tried so many things. And so then when I started seeing how confident these women were and how exciting it seemed, I was like, I think I'm going to explore it more. And it was such a great experience. And I had said to my husband, I said, I think I'm just going to just go to one of our local wig shops just to just ask questions. And he was like, don't do it. Like, just stick with what you're doing online. Like, because that seems to be like a much better experience for you. He's like, don't do it because your first experience was, wasn't was great. And I, on my own, just one day was like, I think I'm just gonna run into one and I did and that was when I had that awful experience. So, just kind of funny. Um, I, think, I think I was noticing that I was starting to isolate a lot. I would cancel plans. Um, because I just was so self-conscious of my hair. And um, so I think it's just going to help me feel more confident and um, it, it just hair loss can be really anxiety provoking. And, and so I think it's just going to help with that aspect of, you know, just feeling overall just better. <laughs> Even if the sky is falling down